can you really convert an iPhone 4S to the track phone network? The answer is yes. I've done it. It works. I've made phone calls. In fact, I'll make a call right now with it. So uh, this is my this is my phone, and I'm dialing it right now. Oops. Hello. 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 So that worked. So about five years ago, I got my mom a track phone, a uh, prepaid phone to replace her monthly contract phone because she just didn't use the phone that much. The phone I got her back then five years ago was a flip phone Motorola and it's pretty limited. You know, things have changed a lot. I was researching better phones by track phone, like an Android phone. Uh, to get her just to find out what the best Android phone was and on my searching for it I discovered that you can bring your own device to track phone which included the iPhone 4s one of the requirements was it had to have CDMA it had to be 3g only and it had to previously had been used under contract so in my closet I had an old iPhone 4s that hadn't been been used for like two years and uh, so I called track phone and it took the whole phone call took about a half hour. I had to pay $9.99 for some kind of network access uh, thing that they had. And then I had to wait about an hour and I had to dial star 22890, which is also the Verizon number. And I asked them about it and essentially it's writing off of Verizon and somehow track phone has an agreement with Verizon. So I'm not really sure the whole ins and outs, but I dialed the, the Verizon number, the phone activated, and then I had to wait a little while longer and then dial star 22890 again for the minutes to kick in. They also were able to transfer all the minutes from my mom's old phone into the new, I, well, it's not a new, until the, into the replacement iPhone 4S. And so this is the 4S here. And all the minutes have transferred over. They could only transfer over 1,800 minutes or 1,600 minutes. But then on the back end, the operator I was on the phone with, she was able to add the extra 1,800 or so minutes in. To I was curious on how to add time. On the old track phones, you could just <clears throat> you know enter the codes in. But now that it's an iPhone and it's not a track phone phone, I have to go to the website and log into track phone and uh, key in all of the... Uh, cards so the management will be a little different but aside from that it works so it's pretty neat because this 4s um, while it's an old phone to me the technology of it to my mom is awesome so she finally has a smartphone she's never had one the best she had was this flip phone which was a track phone flip phone which you know was like it was my wife had a Motorola Razor and the razor was better than this track phone phone so at least now my mom has a nice iphone 4s dated for us but for her it's awesome and it's got like 3600 minutes on it if you wanted to do it you could bring your own device as long as it's 3g only cdma another requirement was it had to have a previous like contract on it and so that phone used to have a contract two years ago on it and it worked so hopefully it works out for you it took about an hour um to, actually it took over an hour it took about two hours uh i did it at halftime i called track phone at halftime of the <laughs> halftime halftime of the cowboys lions nfc playoff game in the year 2015 and it was a wild card playoff game and the phone didn't activate until after the game. But it finally did, and I had to call twice. Once it activated, I had to call again to activate the minutes. Not sure why it happened like that, but that's how it happened. I had a 365-day a card to renew the track phone for another year. And I had to enter it twice into the website. So the first time I entered it, it kind of seemed like it took, but it didn't. The number it what it did was it said that 
I said that it it gave me like a receipt text message, but it, it the numbers didn't kick in and the date didn't change from 2014 to 2015 for the expiration. And then when I entered it again the second time, then then I got another text message that had their correct uh, minutes as well as the correct year. So I, I don't know, maybe... I guess when you do this BYOD, you got to do it twice. This is just like one of those strange tidbits I'm throwing out there in case you convert a BYOD phone with a track phone and it's not working the first time, try it a second time and then it'll work. It's just like when I activated it, I had to call. First time I called, activated the line, but when I tried to make a phone call, it said I didn't have any minutes. And then the second time I activated it would start 22890. Then it added the minutes in. And I think I had to do a, th a third time to get the rest of the minutes because when I first did it, it was only showing the 1600. Actually, that was the second time. The first time it activated. The second time it added 1600 minutes. The third time it added the other 1800. And then when I added the card, it, th it then just acknowledged that I entered something. I had to do it a second time. And then it added the minutes and the year. I don't know if this happens to everybody, but it's what happened to me. And I'm letting you know so that if it happens to you, what to do. We now have an iPhone that pays a one-time annual fee of $99. And that's it. So all year, she can use the phone, talk, text, message, video, data, for a one-time fee of $99. No monthly fees, 365 days of service. It's pretty awesome. The $99 annual 365 day track phone card costs $99. So essentially, not even essentially, so in actuality for $99, my mom gets to have an iPhone 4S for an entire year. And that's what I do every Christmas, I get her a new card. Might be something you guys might wanna do. She doesn't use a cell phone that much. Why pay monthly contracts when you get an annual once a year Track phone contract, if you get the annual one, it lasts 365 days. If you don't get that one, you have to keep renewing every month or every 90 days. I just say, to heck with all that, get the 365 day one. Lasts all year. <clears throat> if you've seen my other videos, you know I'm not about those monthly contracts. All about that one-time fee. Once a year, I have no problem renewing that contract. So good luck. It worked for me. Hopefully it works for you. Thank you for watching. If this was useful to you, like, comment, thumb down. I don't care either way. And subscribe to Tech Nuba. Tech Nuba.